So with this candle, we were not able to get the candle to light up. And so we took it apart and we noticed that this wire was snapped in half. So we thought that was the problem with um, why it wasn't lighting up. So now I'm attempting to uh, solder this wire back together again, thinking that it uh, isn't allowing power to get to this motherboard here for this candle. This is a light up Halloween candle. It has two functions, it's steady on and then timer. And later on I discovered that this wire went to the timer function, but I thought it went to a power function. There's three AA batteries that power the candle. Uh, it's a decorative Halloween candle. At this point I'm using a pair of snips that is made for really small thin wire. So I set it to number 20 on the snips. Uh, I believe this goes down to 20 gauge or something like that. But you need to have snips that are able to wipe away all the uh, plastic covering over the metal on the wire that is uh, very thin because if you use just any old wire strips you'll strip the wire plus the rubber part you're trying to remove so that uh, you can solder this together.
this point I decided to hook up the batteries after putting everything back in all the guts and the wiring and test it out to see if that did the trick and if that was what the problem was was this wire needed to be soldered back together again to make the power come on but then I later discovered that that did not do the trick and then later you'll see me messing around with the um, connection between the battery and the um, the post that carries the electricity to the motherboard and there was a gap in there and so I'm taking the screwdriver and sticking it between the battery and that connection and then it lights up as you see right here so then I discover that was the actual problem of the electricity not getting to the board it's kind of out of camera shot but that's what's happening there so then I decided well what am I gonna do there you see it right there what am I gonna do to get that connection to carry electricity into that motherboard So I went scrounging around in my collection of model railroad Athern scrap pieces of metal that are used for my diesel locomotives to um, carry electricity between the trucks on the diesel locomotives from one to the other. And I had some leftover ones from various models that I had that were just okay that's why the bags marked okay and I decided to push that little connection you see at the bottom of the screen tighter against the battery I believe it was on the plus side of the battery and push it tighter against there so we can have a complete circuit and a complete connection and carry electricity so I went digging through my bag of extra Athern uh, HO scale diesel clips that goes over the motors and decided to saw a piece of that off and then tuck it behind the plus side where the battery connects as you see here I'm doing a rough fit for it right there in the picture and then I'll take my Dremel and cut a piece off and tuck it in behind there. And that did the trick. Now it's carrying electricity and it will turn on later on in the video. having quite a time trying to saw this because I do not have my good pliers to hold it steady. I just have these needle nose pliers. I have some better ones that would have held it nice and tight but I could not find them and I still can't find them. I'm not sure where I put them down at. I went through my toolbox and everything but that would have helped me hold that piece of metal from my Athern HO diesel locomotive more tighter so I could cut this with that Dremel saw. just have to use some snips to finish it off. I got it down just enough to get the piece 
of the 19. Working candle all lit up.